Torsten Zentz, National Center for Tumor Diseases. Molecular Basis of Drug Response in Leukemia and Lymphoma. Good morning. These are exciting times. We have all these new drugs. We have this detailed knowledge of the cartography of genomes of every cancer. So, but the question I would like to discuss with you today is, are we really, do we really have fast pipelines to translate some of this knowledge, knowledge and that's where um, our program starts. So, what do we do? Um, can I have the next slide? Um, we try to understand what governs drug response. To, so to answer some of these uh, open questions, we take primary cancer cells, um, so this is not work on cell lines, but just taking the, the tumor as it is in the patient, uh, from lymphoma and leukemia patients, and we expose these um, primary cancer cells to a panel of drugs. This can be 60 drugs, this can go up to 3,000 drugs. And we read out the effect of these, these inhibitors on individual cancer patient cells. Now we match this information, these, these functional phenotypes that we measure, with all the omics pipelines that we have. We can match this to cancer genomes, we can look at the methylome, we can look at the impact of, of gene expression. So when we started, obviously, we were uh, quite keen to, to identify new drugs, but, but with, with all the information we have on, on the mechanism of action of drugs, it's really becoming, becoming quite apparent that it's really the individual patient that is, is going to uh, deliver most of the, the novel information. So, so on your right, you, you see some of the principle that we, uh, we, we look at the, the, the data with. We do some very simple comparisons. Does a mutant cell respond in a similar way as a, as a wild-type cell, cell for a, an individual cancer mutation? We can also look at these functional patterns uh, and we can start to dissect individual pathways. So this is a summary of some of the data. Uh, if we look at different drugs that target the same pathway, we get a very similar pattern. We see a surprising um, richness of genotype, uh, phenotype associations, um, and this is certainly um, novel information. We can start to functionally classify disease based on, on exploitable pathway dependence, and we can look at the contribution of individual gene mutations. So, so um, why are, what, are, what are the implications of this, uh, of this program? And I'm, I'm summarizing some of the still um, untouched um, um, challenges to cancer care. What is the <coughs> tale of, of mutations? Many of the mutations are rare. We don't really know how they contribute, uh, but they are very common. There's, there's some things we can do in clinical trials, but certainly the, the, the challenges on the, on the bottom right we cannot approach with traditional trial design. Thank you for your attention.